to give just a little bit of snippet of news, something that's come to light today, which is uh, Sunday. Let's have a look at the watch, Sunday the 27th. Uh, be very careful when you're in Thailand what you put on any social media. Because an American today has got caught out, or the other day, has got caught out with putting a little few derogatory comments on TripAdvisor um, against a, uh, a restaurant at one of the islands. And he's now been being taken to court. He's been sued. Now, if they are successful in their case, then this American chap is likely to spend nearly two years in prison. So that's uh, down to a, a meal of uh, uh, you know, fish head and rice. So anyway, my experience of Thailand, my experience. Well, let's go from the very, very start. I decided um, I've never been to that part of the world. And one of my friends has been there and he said, come on, let's go. So we went to a coastal resort called Pattaya. Interesting. Certainly opened my eyes. We all know what goes on in Pattaya. And uh, that introduced me into, into Thailand. It's a bit of a shocker. So I saw the other end of uh, Thailand first. I decided that it wasn't really what it was about. It wasn't really what I wanted to see necessarily. So I did emanate back up to Bangkok. And Bangkok, wow. What a city that is. There's just so many sights and smells and it just utterly sort of blows you away. You just, you just can't get your head around the place sometimes, you know. So it turned out I went back to the UK for around about six weeks. Haven't already met Kung. We've been together now for nearly five years. So I returned, obviously, to meet Kung. And... Uh, Decided to I wanted to sort of stay in Bangkok and you know sort of breathe in the atmosphere, get to know the people, get used to it. Well then we went to the islands. We went to a lovely little island called Koh Samet or Gor Samet, as they would say in Thailand. Lovely little island. In comparison to the others, quite untouched. Not very um very built up, so it's a nice island. So we hired a motorbike, obviously taking all the precautions that you do. We didn't have any of the scam problems that you hear. And we just sort of just drove around the island, looking about, going onto the beach. You can see that on our videos here, uh, Lonely Traveller Productions. You can see the videos if you scroll back through the channel. You will see sort of some early things, but I didn't do start the channel off necessarily right from the start, you know, five years ago. So it's only really been going about one year now. So in a sense, other than pictures, uh, there is no real sort of video commentaries or anything else. So, you know, I'm really, really impressed with Thailand. And the whole reason why I've done this on the channel now is uh, I'd like to see to sort of get a little bit more feedback from you guys. It might be you new guys coming to the channel saying oh, what's all this about, and uh, and, and we can engage because I, I know as soon as I said Corona has died down or the uh, the government of Thailand is allowing us to come in, uh, as it stands at the moment, you can soon go into Thailand, but you have to apply for a nine month visa, long stay visa and still undergoing the 14-day quarantine period in which you'd also have to pay the fees for maybe the tests and things like that. But the fees for the hotels, um, nobody really knows what they're going to be. They might be expensive. Uh, and also, if you have to, you know, go through, um, make sure that when you arrive 48 hours before you arrive in Thailand, you've had a negative COVID test result. So that's going to be interesting, very difficult for us in the UK to, to get it in a sort of time scale like that. But uh, hopefully uh, things will be sorted out or maybe they might even give you one at the airport and possibly might have a shorter quarantine. It's all hard to say, you know, we've been here for a few hundred years and certainly we, we travel now a lot more than uh, what we normally used to. So it does make it easy. So 
Um, I'm going to wrap it up now. Uh, I'm trying to get this background sorted out. Grammar keys. It's a bit difficult, isn't it? Anyway, so uh, to the next one.